Welcome back to the channel. Today's video takes us to a wet and soggy Yorkshire town, Hebden Bridge, in the upper Calder Valley. Come with us and let's see what we can find. That building at the back has got Archimedes spiral in it. So water comes off that weir into there and then it powers their mill. That's what they're saying, they, they, they've got their own power supplied by water from the uh, river. Quite good, isn't it? The Millennium Clock was installed into the Thompson Solicitors Building in 2000 to mark the start of the Millennium. The funds to pay for the clock were paid by public subscription and presented to the town by the Rotary Club of Hebden Bridge. The names of the major subscribers are listed on the clock below. that building, urban district it says, council, top. So they were council offices. This is pedestrianised, eh? Said that we're going to rain, didn't we, today? Pack Horse Bridge was built in 1510. Hebden Bridge gets its name from the old Pack Horse Bridge as it crossed the River Hebden 
on the old pack horse route from Halifax to Burnley. More steps, <coughs> your feet on there. We'll get. Due to the steep wet hills and access to major wool markets, it meant that Hebden Bridge was ideal for water powered weaving mills, and this allowed the town to develop during the 19th and 20th centuries. At one time, Hebden was so well known for its clothing manufacture that it was known as Trouser Town. It's quite a wet day today in Hebden Bridge, no surprise. Walking across the old Packhorse Bridge. Place well, called Royd Terrace. Little toilets there. Toilets there, the red doors. We're in the toilets for these uh, four avengers. The Hall in the Wall pub dates back to 1899 and still has the name of the publican of that time over the door. The pub is built on the site of an earlier pub with the same name. It closed in 2012 and is now in residential use. The name of the pub is said to have come from the damage caused by the round heads during the Civil War. It was also where the navvies of the Rochdale Canal and the Manchester Leeds Railway were paid at the end of the week on a Friday. The actual border stone's gone, but there's a plaque to mark where it was near. Some kind of walkway. Eight. I don't know. 1889 it was built. That. that were used in um, Happy Valley and off license where he worked at Neil. Yeah, definitely. It's been brought up, hasn't it? There's been obviously a floor in there. We think that that walkway would have joined these two buildings together. Just look at all that carving and then window frames. That big building I've just been filming looks like it was the old cooperative hall. The former court building at Hebden Bridge was built in 1889. The building contained the court hall and later a cinema which closed in Hope Chapel was built in 1857. The building was on the at risk register and has been transformed into a community hub. Hebden Bridge Picture House is one of the last remaining council owned cinemas in Britain. Together with the adjacent shops, it forms a Grade 2 listed building. It was built between 1919 and 1921. Hey, I like the
The Memorial Gardens officially opened on the 10th of August There's a plaque on them gates that were dedicated to somebody. This is to um, commemorate the adoption of HMS Bradford by the people of Ebden. <coughs> Can't read it. Is it 1922? Ebden, Ryden, Hepton. Yeah. HMS what? Bradford. Bradford. HMS Bradford was commissioned right. on the 9th of October 1940 and, and performed escort duties in the Atlantic Ocean. On 1943 she was declared no longer fit for escort work and was decommissioned. For the rest of the war she served as an accommodation ship. She was scrapped at Troon in 1946. HMS Bradford was adopted by the community of Hebden Royd and Hepton after a successful warship week. It was a national savings campaign in March 1942. Heading towards the station. That's that bridge down there, I think. The car park used to be a good yard. The coal merchant's still here. Hebden Bridge Station is on the Calder Valley Line. The station opened on the 5th of October 1840. It was refurbished in 1997. The current buildings date from 1893. There was a good yard along the station, but it closed in 1966. On the 25th of June 1912, a train derailed nearby, which sadly killed four and injured many others. The inquiry found that the train was running too fast on the Charlestown Curve, a tight curve near the station. Victoria Mill was built in 1856 and was steam powered. It was used for cotton spinning and weaving in the early 20th century. During the Second World War, the mill was used for storage. After the war it returned to textile production. The main buildings were demolished in 1987. Only the South Western Weaving Shed remains today and this is used as an industrial oh, like unit. Bumpsy wall, isn't there? So something's been there. This has been some financet mill maybe. 
need to investigate. Yeah, you can see just in distance between all them trees. Like a yeah, like a post, a pillar. Yeah, I need to have a look. That were a water wheel. Might have been. You don't think it's that one that Martin comes to? No, no. Yeah. So that's steps. And then there's like an, an all inside. Right. It's got a floor in it. It's got a floor in it. And then the other one, somebody must stick day in there. Oh shit. And needles. Nice. Yeah, that's Crosnest Bridge is a Grade 2 listed building and it crosses the River Calder. The bridge is dated 1818 according to some of the keystones on the bridge. bridge. Yeah, I'm not going any closer, I might fall. Well, it's Rochdale Canal. I believe Liverpool that was at Skipton, weren't it? The entrance to the dry dock. The Trades Club is a socialist members' cooperative club bar and music venue in Hebden Bridge. It was built in 1924 as a joint enterprise by half a dozen local trade unions. It was brought back to life in 1982. That's it for this video. We're going to go and get a coffee. We've enjoyed our walk around Hebden Bridge, looking at some of the history. Don't forget to like, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.